Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So for today we're going to take a look at Temporal level 20. I know I am super late for this video right now and a lot of you guys have already passed this. However, if there are some of you guys who still need a little bit of help and a little bit of advice, then hopefully I can help you with that. Now do take note that this floor is actually a lot easier than floor 15, at least in my opinion. So I didn't really put in too much emphasis on, on having the strategies done right. And you will notice that I made a few mistakes here and there, but I'll still analyze the mistakes that I have done and talk a little bit more about where I could have improved. So let's take a look at the Temporal Disturbance for today. This is going to be Poison Step, which is enemy attacks have a chance of inflicting poison for 2 turns. So generally, anyone who does multi-hits onto your team is going to be a bigger threat because they can potentially land a lot of poisons. Also, do take note that because they are running a tricky on their side of the team, as long as you try to cleanse away the poisons or any of the debuffs on your team, your cleanser is going to lose 30% HP. And one thing to take note of is there isn't a Mona on their lineup. I'm pretty sure this is not intended. Now if you find that this video is going to be helpful for you, do consider subscribing as subscribing is free and you can always change your mind afterwards. Now I think for this floor, every single one of the espers have their own fair share of danger. So I would highly recommend that you keep them stun locked. So for example, the Tricky on their team is going to do a lot of multi-hits and his passive is also the reason why your cleansers are going to lose a lot of HP. And as for the Liling, he's just going to do a lot of multi-hits and a lot of damage. And for Tang Xuan, he is also going to do a little bit of damage over there, but he's the least of the problems for this stage in my opinion. Then Jiang Man has the ability to land even more poisons, and she also gives you that Nether Bloom effect, which is quite painful if it explodes on you. And then finally, Bonnie has the ability to increase your cooldowns by one turn, which is very disruptive to your strategy. So all of these aspects are incredibly annoying in their own sense, so it is best that you bring a lot of crowd control. So I'm just trying to stun every single one of them, that's my objective right, just to make sure that every single one of them is stun locked. And of course you can bring Jean, Longmian and Kaylee who are all much better than the stunners that I'm using right now. So this is one of the mistakes that I've made over here. So for this floor naturally, you just don't want them to move as much as possible. So as long as they don't move, they don't land any debuffs on your team and therefore the Tricky cannot hurt you that way. But of course the Tricky cannot be stunned right, and if that's the case, you may want to use Espers such as Sander or Melanie or even Lin Xiao, so any of the Espers who can AP control, because you can always AP control bosses but you cannot actually stun them. So I think the strategy that I went in here is to just completely decimate the entire lineup. And my sender is really good at dealing damage, so I can actually take them out very very fast over here. Because for floor 20, honestly, their HP is not really that high. But of course, if you are a newer player and you don't have the same kind of relics that I have, and you cannot do the same kind of damage that I can do, then one thing you can opt for is to, of course, bring a cleanser. I think that is still going to be very important, because you cannot be overrun with the buffs. That's going to be even more dangerous for you. But instead of just running one cleanser, I would highly suggest that you have another single target healer as well. So this single target healer can be a Lauren or it can also be a Suhua and that should be enough to protect your cleanser if she loses HP because she cleansed your team. And as for the other three options, if you do not have a sender, I would definitely suggest you to use a Tang Yun because he has quite a good coverage of elemental advantage in this floor. So for example, Tricky and Tang Xuan are both wind type, Jiang Man is flow type and Bonnie is a shimmer type. And of course the only issue with using Tang Yun here is going to be their Liling. However, you can just keep him stunlocked with the rest of your Espers and all should be good. So that brings me to the next two Espers, right? You already have one Cleanser and you already have a single target healer. And now you have a Tang Yun, so what are the two other options, right? So in my opinion, these two last spots should be crowd control Espers. And very easy options are going to be Jean and Melanie. These two Espers are pretty much free and they do very well for whatever that they are supposed to do. So for example, Jean is really good at stunning the enemies and keeping them stunned every single turn. Whereas for Melanie, she's really good at AP control which is excellent against the Tricky over here. And of course, both Jean and Melanie are really good against Liling because they have type coverage. So that should be the strategy going into this. I'm definitely not using the right strategy at all. I shouldn't even be using Gabriel for this lineup. Gabriel doesn't even make sense for this lineup. And to add, Jin Yu Yao is quite a terrible choice here as well because she constantly cuts her own HP by 30% every time she takes a turn. And the same goes for my Tricky as well. I don't really see a reason for me to bring my Tricky here because if my Tricky uses his normal attack, he's going to cut his own HP as well. So yeah, I made a ton of mistakes coming into this fight. Luckily, my relics are able to cover for me. So this stage could potentially be a bigger issue for me if let's say it was at like floor 40 or floor 45 but thankfully it's just on floor 20. Now just a quick summary of the strategy here that I'm talking about. So for the cleanser you want to have like let's say Hengrie, Sally, Clara. These are all great options and for the single target healer you want to have either Lauren or Suhua and then your DPS is going to be a Tang Yun or a Sander and finally your two crowd control espers are going to be Jean and Melanie and then what you want to do is to just keep all of the enemy espers stun locked and just make sure that they don't take a turn. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you my espers and their relics even though it really doesn't matter because I'm using the wrong espers but maybe this can serve as like a kind of guideline for you to know exactly what kind of stats you need in order to just well basically just auto through some of these easy content in my opinion or to at least just survive because your relics allow you to survive 
However, if you do feel like your stuns are not enough, you may choose to opt out of using a Sander or a Tang Yun because their stuns are not as reliable as let's say using a hardcore stunner, right? So I can suggest that you remove your DPS and replace him with another crowd control Esper. Like let's say if you have Long Mian, he's going to be an excellent pick. And if you still have any other questions regarding this stage, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to play Dr. Daddy and investigate what's wrong with your current lineup. So let me know as much information as you can so that I can identify the issue over here. Now with that said, if you found this video a little bit helpful at least, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more dislike content. Anyway, this has been Daddy Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video.